On July 1, 2025, astronomers spotted 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object after Oumuamua and Borisov. Larger, brighter, and detected early, its hyperbolic path confirms it came from beyond our solar system. Now, telescopes worldwide are tracking this rare chance to study matter from another star. The initial detection of 3I slash Atlas was made by the Atlas Telescope in Chile, part of a planetary defense system designed to identify objects approaching Earth. Astronomers noticed a fast-moving object that didn't match the profiles of typical asteroids or comets. Within hours, orbital data revealed something striking. The object was following a hyperbolic path, a strong indicator that it was unbound to the Sun. This characteristic confirmed that 3I slash Atlas had entered our solar system from interstellar space and would eventually exit without returning. The eccentricity of its orbit, a measure of how stretched it is, was significantly greater than 1, placing it in the same rare category as Oumuamua 1I and Borisov 2I. Officially designated as 3I slash Atlas, C slash 2025N1, it became the third confirmed interstellar object, and by far the largest of the three. At an estimated 20 kilometers wide, 3I Atlas dwarfs both of its predecessors. Despite being about 4.5 AU from the Sun at the time of detection, farther than the orbit of Jupiter, it was still visible to ground-based telescopes due to its brightness. This early detection is crucial. While Oumuamua passed Earth before it was spotted and Borisov offered a brief observing window, 3I slash Atlas gives scientists months of visibility, both inbound and outbound, allowing for a wide range of data collection over time. Its velocity also stands out. Traveling at over 60 kilometers per second, it is not just escaping the sun's gravity. It's doing so at a speed that suggests a distant origin and a long journey through interstellar space. The object's motion, brightness profile, and initial spectral data are now under intense analysis, with more detail expected as it approaches perihelion later this year. What makes 3 Atlas so unusual isn't just its origin, but how it differs from what scientists expected. When it comes to interstellar objects, we've only had two previous examples, Oumuamua and Borisov and each set different expectations. Oumuamua had no visible tail, was unusually elongated, and showed slight non-gravitational acceleration that sparked theories ranging from exotic ice to speculative artificial origins. Borisov, on the other hand, looked and behaved like a familiar comet, with a visible tail and a composition largely similar to icy bodies in our solar system. In contrast, 3 Atlas shows signs of cometary behavior, including a faint coma, a cloud of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus. It likely has some outgassing, which suggests the presence of volatile materials. However, it's far more massive than Borisov, which raises questions about how it could have formed and survived in another planetary system before being ejected. It's also significantly more reflective than expected for its distance. This could be due to fresh, unweathered ice, or a surface that hasn't been heavily exposed to cosmic radiation. Either case gives clues about how long it's been traveling and whether it's been shielded in some way. Another point of interest is its inbound path. It approached the solar system steeply rather than skimming in from the edges. This trajectory, combined with its speed and mass, strengthens the conclusion that it's interstellar and not a long-period comet from the Oort cloud. What's striking is that it doesn't cleanly fit either of the two known interstellar templates. It isn't completely comet-like, nor does it show the mysterious properties of Oumuamua. Instead, it seems to occupy a middle ground, cometary in some ways, but uniquely massive and luminous. Interstellar objects are valuable because they are unaltered relics from the formation of other planetary systems. Studying their composition can offer insight into the materials and processes that shaped worlds beyond our Sun. 
The first step is identifying its chemical makeup. Researchers are using spectroscopy to analyze the light reflected or emitted by the object. This will help determine whether it contains ices, carbon-based compounds, or metals. Each of these provides different clues about where and how the object formed. If the object has a high concentration of ices, it likely formed in a cold outer region far from its parent star, similar to our Kuiper Belt or Oort Cloud. This would imply that it was ejected from its original system early on, perhaps due to a gravitational encounter with a large planet like a gas giant. If it's mostly rocky or dry, then it may have originated closer to its host star and could have survived a more complex dynamical history before being ejected. Another focus is its internal structure. Is it a single solid body or a loose collection of fragments held together by gravity? Its behavior as it approaches the sun, whether it breaks apart, shows increased activity, or remains stable, will provide insight into its cohesion and thermal properties. In addition, researchers are watching for any signs of non-gravitational acceleration, like those observed in Oumuamua. If present, this could indicate jets of gas or dust pushing the object slightly off its expected path. The extended observation period is a major advantage this time. 3i Atlas will remain visible for several months, allowing scientists to monitor changes as it approaches and then recedes from the sun. This timeline increases the chances of catching unexpected phenomena. The 3A Atlas offers a rare chance to study material from another solar system. Its size, brightness, and early detection make it ideal for extended observation. This interstellar visitor could reveal how planetary systems form and remind us how much we still have to learn.